Hi everyone. It's my pleasure to introduce our most powerful 600 watts handy torch welder. Uh, firstly, let's uh, let's see. It's composed by a water chiller, the power unit, and the torch with five meters fiber cable. So let's see how to start it up. First, you need to press the power button of the water chiller. The best work temperature is uh, around 20 to 25 degrees. So if it is under 20 degrees, you can uh, start the laser right away without waiting. Okay. First, we, we turn the case switch. And you will see the welcoming uh, image. Okay, this is the main operation system, uh, interface. So the second step, we step on and confirm on. And we'll have to wait like one or two minutes until the charging finish. So during the waiting, I think I better introduce you how to connect the power, connect the gas and water. Okay, this is the back side of the power unit. First, this is power supply cable, power supply cable for, for laser. This is the gas port. It's connected with the air purifier and uh, then connected with the air pump or air compressor and when you use argon gas you have to make sure the air uh, pressure the argon gas pressure is around uh, 0.4 uh, ampa or uh, 0.5 ampa So this, this two a water pipe, which connected to the water chiller. Uh, for example, if the left pipe connected to the outlet of the water chiller, then the other pipe should go to the return pipe of water chiller. So that it becomes a circulation. And this is Flow alarm, uh, which means when um, the water flow is too, uh, the water speed is, is low, or uh, the water temperature is uh, over, uh, it will give a signal to stop the whole laser system. This is the uh, cable for foot pedal. It is a, a second switch for the handy torch. You can use the button on the torch as well. Okay, let's let's learn about the operation panel. Um, first, the status. It shows the general status of this laser. Uh, if the lamp one and lamp two, uh, the green light on, it it means the uh, it's normal state. Uh, Normal station, eh? a normal status, and uh, this is the main uh, manual when you uh, set parameters. Mm. Uh, basically, you just need to change the amber and the, the pulse width and the, the frequency. The amber, the number, uh, the bigger the number is, the stronger the laser is, and the pulse width means. Uh, the the time duration of each single laser spot. So uh, when this number gets bigger, it means uh, the laser, the one single laser spot, stays long on the material. 
and the frequency means um, how many uh, spots the laser give in one minute, uh, in one second. So now it's 10, means 10 spots per second. Okay, you can change the language in to English and Chinese and switch. Uh, the one thing I have to mention is uh, once the machine is not uh, working, you can click check and uh, take a picture of this page and get back to our uh, customer service to find out the, the problem of your machine. Okay, we don't mention about this. Okay. Okay. Uh, the starting the starting point of the amber number, or we said we always set 100, and uh, the frequency we always set 2.0. And the frequency starts with starts with uh, 10 uh, hertz, but uh, when you weld continuously a long line, uh, we can set it higher to 20 or 30. Every time when you set up uh, the, the parameters and you want to activate, you need to press the send button. It says ready, then you can uh, do your welding work. Okay, that's about the, the interface. Uh, this machine can memorize uh, 100 groups parameters per different material type and the different material thickness. So uh, you can switch be between any one of them when you change the prop number. But don't forget to press send. Program, uh, from arrow. You will have the issue because the starting level. Complete. You can't set all the number at zero. Otherwise, it will say arrow. Okay, uh, before, before you use this machine, I have to uh, warn you that this machine is class four laser. So you must wear the goggles that we provide with the machine. Okay, let's do it. just have a few pieces for testing welding. This is the button, the switch button, and all, you can also uh, press the foot pedal to trigger the laser. You can hold like this. Actually, the best angle is 45 degrees with the table surface, and you must uh, lift the open side on top so that you can see the red pointer more clearly. Every time you have to make sure the red pointer exactly on the line you are going to weld. You have to touch the material as well. Okay. See? Perfect. Okay. We'll do, oh, we'll do another demonstration. Okay, it's 1.2 stainless steel, vertical welding. Uh, sometimes we just uh, weld a few spots to hold the structure like this. And then we can set the frequency higher so that we can do
Very strong. I can never break it. Okay. Okay, when you're done with the welding, uh, let's learn how to shut down. Click off, confirm off, and you can hear a click inside the machine. And then turn the key switch. And finally, turn off the water chiller.